It's Triffmas! Comment right now. Comment down below if you're excited for Triffmas. I'm burning up. Burning up. You bet. Oh, oh shit. Uh, you didn't see anything. You didn't see. Delete that. You didn't see anything. I'm gonna go blow up some monster trucks or some shit because I'm a man. Today's video, guys, I conquered my fears. I, uh, no, it's not singing. And no, I didn't sing. No, don't get any ideas. I didn't sing. I have one fear in life. In fact, I'm not scared of nothing except this one fear. Cubics. I hate this deck. I, I hate it. Uh, they've been following me around everywhere. On my amazing, wonderful stream I did tonight, one of my amazing subscribers decided to show support to the pen guy by doing $20, and I broke Cubics for him. He loves Cubics. I hate Cubics. So I thought, what a great match. Let's build the deck I hate the most and see what we can do. I thought, how did I lose to it uh, hundreds of years ago is what it felt like was my last YCS. And I got destroyed by that big round boy. 10,000 attackers some shit, and I got destroyed. But I thought, Cubics right now suck. They're so inconsistent. But what if I build a good version? And that's exactly what I did. Like, we're not just talking best Cubic version. We're talking best deck. We're talking tier one. Cubics suck. Huh? Huh? You're all big? Pussy. Yeah, he flinched. <laughs> he just utilizing Dooza and Unification and Karma... And uh, giving your opponent the greatest karma of all, victory. And that's what you're going to be doing is vi being victorious while your opponent will be the opposite of victorious, which is... Uh, losing? Well, whatever the fuck that one is, because we don't even know that term. We don't even know what the opposite of victorious is, because we're only victorious. So get ready for this amazing deck profile. Double big cubic boy. With Azathoth and Griffin every single turn, every single turn, so damn consistent, absolutely amazing. Enjoy this deck profile, because I definitely did it. Uh, I hate this deck. Enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe to the greatest YouTube on the planet. I'm on a mission, boys. I'm on a mission. I stream every day, and from now on, truth says every day. Two videos a day, that's right. So subscribe to your favorite YouTuber on the planet as we take over the YouTube world. Cubics, we meet again, but this time I will not be on the receiving end. This time I'll be on the giving end. I'm telling you right now, this version of Cubics is so damn good. The reason why Cubics uh, are, are bad right now is simply because when you hard draw cards like this, Cubic Karma, they're dead. It's dead. It doesn't do anything. It's dead for you. But with Orcus, you always go into Mermaid, so Mermaid will send that or uh, one of your three Cubic Karma, one of your three Unification of Cubic Lords to the graveyard. Hence, going through with all of its effects and plusing like crazy. And it sends all your cubic spell traps that you hate drawing normal cubics. Uh, the Orcas makes sure you send one. And the Dangers kind of lets you send the others if you kind of get somewhat lucky to discard it. But if you have a hand of Dangers, or typically you do, to be honest, you discard the cubics. And the game plan here is cubics normally go second. That's shit. Why do you want to let your opponent go second and put up infinite negates? Uh, what the game plan is here is... We have 15 or 16 cubic cards. We would summon sort bring out a machine if we need the trap to get Dooza to uh, loop. Because Unification and Dooza loop forever. So for those who don't know what Unification does is when Dooza leaves the field, and the only way for Dooza to leave the field properly is by playing Dangerous to put monsters on field. That's why you must play Dangerous and Orcus and Cubic. It's not even a debate. It's like... It's like playing Alter Guides without traps. Are you going to play Alter Guides without traps? Definitely not. So, with that being said, you need to play lots of dangers and the whole the mini Orcus engine in Cubics for them to be even remotely playable. Now I'm going to show you guys right here where this combo is going to end on uh, like five Cubic cards in hand with double big boy, three big boys in hand, five Cubic cards in hand, Azlog, Griffin, all that shit, all that jazz. Now you're going to see here, now, like I said, you need the dangers to get the Cubics to the graveyard. You, uh... What Unification is going to do is when you summon one card and Dooza goes to Grave, tra the trap is going to banish itself to special Dooza from Grave, uh, uh, the special Dooza from, from deck. From hand or deck. Yeah, yeah. So when Dooza goes to the graveyard, you can banish the trap to special another Dooza from deck. And none of them are hard ones per turn. So you're going to keep adding and adding and adding. And the game plan here is to go through as many Doozas as possible and as many Karmas as possible and really just go through your entire cubic deck in one turn. 
So you're literally going to go through all uh, all good cubic cards. Like, well, there's like 13 good cubic cards in the game. They're going to go through every single one of them on turn one. Now, use Nessie here. You always want to use Nessie in situations like this where you just need one monster on, on field. If we, look, most people would use Trooper Cobra there, and if that was the case, it would have gone great, but you would have lost a card. Always use Danger, the good, the free summons first, because if you, if, let's say they hit anything else and kept the Trooper Cobra, you're going to link anyways at this point, and the Trooper Cobra would resolve its effect even if it got discarded. So always use the good Danger first. Uh, now you look at a hand, we want to discard all the cards in our hand. They're all grave effects. We took a Metal Boss Fusion because hands like this. Now, this isn't a real duel, it's just a combo tutorial, so the guy left, he got bored. But uh, this, we're doing this live on stream, by the way. It was, uh, shout out to my stream. We do a few take backs here and there, simply because we're testing out the combo, and we want to show, we're talking to the stream as we do it. So uh, we're not going to send wine, we're going to something else, but we're talking to the entire stream live. We're like, yo, what do you guys think we should do here as we're doing this combo to show you guys literally how simple it is. Everything's going to keep triggering. And we're going to want the Griffin here. Griffin's something because we just want to set a coffee fusion to draw a card. That's all. We want to set it to draw. Then we draw another cubic card or draw a danger, anything like that. It doesn't matter. Because any card you draw, the draw the deck draws like crazy. Orchestrator is going to draw you two. Metal Boss going to draw you two. Allure's going to draw you. Danger's going to draw you infinite. And the deck draws like crazy. And every card you draw, it just keeps drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing. Uh, if you draw a cubic card, you just send it to grave with effects. And now I know, so you're going to be a little careful with Griffin in terms of where you send it. We sent Fusion and we ended up drawing Fusion Flows Burial Goods, which is good because it gets you another Cubic Karma. The game plan here, the game plan, is we want to send Triple Cubic Karma to the graveyard, which we have three of them now. And we want to find some way to send this Karma to the grave as well. And we're going to at the very end add three big boy, cub, Cubic Big Boys, the big one, and uh, draw some other Cubic cards or add some other Cubic cards depending on how the hand turns out. And we're going to end up with Azalot Griffin and double Big Boy Cubic. Now we're going to draw some more with Orchestrated Return. At this point, we didn't meet this in level 4. We want some level... Uh, we should have sent, used the level 7. So we should have done at this point. Don't forget, it's very important. We should have used or Orcus Nightmare to send... We should have used Orcus Nightmare right now to send World Wand to the graveyard. And then bring back Orcus Nightmare to the deck. That's what we should have done. So keep that in mind. That's what we actually do. But again, we're... Talking to the chat like crazy. Like, we're not even focusing on this, to be honest. We're just talking to the chat. So, we're not that focused on it. At this point, we, that's where we drew the... Or we're going to draw later. We're going to draw the trap later with Nessie's draw. At this point, like I said, if we did what we should have done... So, we banished the Nightmare. And we, this is just a combo tutorial. We banished the Nightmare, Orcus Nightmare, to special World 1. Don't forget, we're going to draw into World 1. That was a total mistake. We 100% had to banish Nightmare, both to put it back in deck and to summon the 1. Anyways... So keep that in mind, we're just going back, we're destroying the combo anyways, and that's, that's what we did. So essentially, uh, the Nightmare's in deck, Harp Horror is banished right now, and World 1 is engraved by the effect of Orcus Nightmare, because Orcus Nightmare sends any Dark Machine, Dark Machine, so don't forget that. Uh, now it's good that we drew the cubic cards, Drawing into, you're going to eventually draw the cubic cards anyways, just because of the way the deck is. Now we're going to go into the PK cards. At this point, we're going to use all three of our Cubic Karmas in Grave to add three big boys. And it's not possible if you're not playing normal Cubics. Uh, if, you're, if you're playing normal Cubics, it's not possible whatsoever. And next, we're going to... Uh, I do think you should play one random Cubic as well. It's for a different name. So you can add a normal, just random monster. Because you went through all three Dooza's. Usually, you don't go through all the Dooza's. You want to keep one Dooza to have in your hand. So you could have one Wave, one Dooza, one Trap, two big boy. Uh, I think it's better. Uh, and then you summon that at this point when we realize we summoned the we brought out the wrong card So like I said from the very beginning Orcus Nightmare should have been banned instead of the horror And we bring up both of these making Redoer and then Azathoth I know Griffin and Azathoth do uh, uh, it's redundant to have both of them But it's kind of just in case they Kaiju you or they Twister you or Denko or something like that You at least have Griffin's back I know it's over here and they can summon a card here But what Striker's doing they can't summon a card there so it affects Strikers a lot And uh It kind of stops it's really really good like this deck uh the the hand was weird. The cards we drew, we hit the wrong dangers. We drew into more uh, grave effects without dangers. So the hand we had was bad, but we still ended up with this hand, which is amazing. Uh, normal cubists will never be able to achieve this. The only way normal cubists could achieve this is by hard drawing this hand. By hard drawing this hand and passing, they're not ending on a rank up, a lore, rusty pop, griffin, and a redoer with the whole orcas and recycle to come back again next turn. With uh, triple Dooza and Grave for Cubic Wave to stop all the monster effects. Like, that shit's nuts. This deck's absolutely nuts. I'm going to show you guys the deck profile now. But, like, this is absolutely insane. Like, this is so crazy. No normal Cubic deck can come remotely close to this. But Cubics with Dangers and Orcas 
are a whole new level. They're a whole new level. You bring out double big boy, cubic big boy every turn with uh, if you, we did, uh, Noah, how we like decoy deco talker instead. So deco talker as a thought, double big boy. And when you draw, let's talk about when you drew. Like after you drew the Lord, you're gonna have five cards in hand. In retrospect, you're gonna be discarding the cubic wave and have three the greater three monsters nightmares. You just destroy them. So that's a deck profile. Or sorry, no, no, that's a combo tutorial. Now I'm gonna show you guys the actual deck profile. Now this is the, we didn't actually lose any of these matches. They're just test hands uh, with uh, stream uh, on our stream. Again, we did this all live on our stream, so do check it out. We go live every single day, and we break any deck of your guys' choice for uh, 20 USD. I'll break any single deck of your choice. We broke we broke Red Eyes, as you saw in the other video. We broke Cubix. We broke Norlias. We broke Insecta. We broke Ma we broke Magnet Warriors. We broke Metaphysics. We broke so many decks, and they're, they're really, really good, all these decks. This is a deck profile. Now, Triple uh, Big Boy, Cubic, Crimson Nova, Triple Tuza, Triple Karma, Triple Unification, one Cubic Wave, only you need to play Triple Foolish Burial Goods. So 16 Cubic Cards, and then that's all you need. Every other Cubic Card is literally a Garnet. It literally says do nothing. Every other Cubic Card in this deck is Horse Piss. It literally just says Gem Knight, Garnet, no effect. It has zero effect. You don't want to play any of the other ones. Uh, triple, then you play 15 Dangers and one of, uh, 617, one Thunder, one Bird, one Bigfoot. You need all the discard, a list to discard the Karmas and the Unifications when you draw them. You need them in Grave. You absolutely need them in Grave. The only reason Cubics are good is because you go through your entire deck and keep drawing. The, after you go through your entire combo, you keep drawing and drawing and drawing. When you draw into the Crimson Over, you draw into more Cubic cards. It's just part of the deck. It's how the deck is. You want to uh, send three Karmas in Grave and hard draw one Cubic card, which is so easy to do. And we ended up hard drawing two Cubic cards and had three Karmas in Grave. So we had to summon two Big Boys. So we only need to summon one Big Boy to win. Uh, so... That's the deck right there. Uh, obviously, having Cubic Wave will help you, like, use... Uh, obviously, you're going to use Cubic Effect to, like, a Cubic Wave. It's really easy to have Cubic Wave in hand and, like, a Nova and a Random Dooza and a Random Trap or something like that. So easy with these cards. So Orca's cards are needed there simply because you need to somehow handpick the card you discard. Uh, we took the, the Metal Ball Fusion here just to make it a little more consistent because uh, we want to discard the Karma and the Trap as opposed to the discarding the Fusion and draw one. Uh, you always want to make sure you send these to the graveyard. So, the Orcas not only give you a free Azathoth, but they give you a free Azathoth, and they also give you a very a free draw two to draw into the, the cubic cards, and it lets you handpick the discard between Karma or Unification. This deck's busted. Uh, you, cubics, like, yes. Doc, Danger Orcas, Cubic. Amazing. And the PK card, obviously... And triple allure because you need more draw power in the deck. 45 cards. One mermaid, one phoenix, one service, one unicorn, one griffin. Uh, one galate, one summon sword, one underclock, underclock with uh, crimson nova, sick. One rusty, one boral sword, one decode. As a thought, redoer, evil from nightmare for another negate, and care gorgon, he's play striker. This deck's nuts. It really is. Like, I actually 10 hands in a row. And all 10 hands are going to end up with uh, uh, as a thought, decode, or griffin, uh, just in case uh, they have like a kaiju or something or a denko. And uh, Nova for next turn. That was the plan. Like, you want to set up, a, you want to knock it out decayed. As that will help you do that. You want to get a follow up and you want to have a Nova in hand for next turn. That's what the deck does. Uh, pure Cubics can't do this, but you need need to play Danger Orcus in it. Until Mermaid gets banned, you have to really. Uh, this isn't just a deck where you just randomly throw in Dangerous Orcus is a good deck. It's not like that. If you throw Dangerous and Orcus in an Altergeist deck, is it a good deck? No, it's shit. If you throw Dangerous Orcus in a blue eyes deck, is it good? No, it's shit. Uh, that shit's irrelevant. If you throw it in a Dark Magician deck, is it good? No, it's still shit. It doesn't matter. If you throw it in a Heartbeat deck, is a Heartbeat deck good? No, it's still shit. Like, not all decks could have Orcus ca uh, cards. But if a deck can play Orcus cards, you must use it while you can. So that's the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join our uh, live streams every day, every single 10 a.m. to 1 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Donate $20. Make any deck you guys want amazing. Big things coming for this channel. Subscribe. See you guys next video. Peace.